Hello and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video. Today's video is who to take from level 15 for season 4. So with that being said, let's get into it. So the first level 15 player is Rafiq Gutain. He has medium medium work rates, 3 star skill moves and 3 star weak foot. And if I was to take this card, I would recommend applying an engine chem style. So the pros of this card is his 90 agility and 96 balance. And then also his body type. So he has the short and lean and it all fits nicely as he's 5 foot 7, high agility and balance and the short and lean body type. The cons of this Gitane card would have to be his 3 star skill moves and 3 star weak foot. I mean he's a cam and he's not good on both feet and he doesn't have any skill moves his work rates medium medium as i've said before in many a player review or these who to take from level 15 and 30 medium medium work rates are by far the worst and then the con he's just got a bang average card we're now i'm recording this on the fourth of February and to be honest you won't be getting him until probably the 11th and he's just not good enough for this stage of the game. The second level 15 card is Jordi Ose Tutu. He has medium medium work rates, 3 star skill moves and 3 star weak foot and if I was to take this card I would recommend applying the anchor chem style. Okay, so the pros of Ose Tutu, I'd have to say his pace. Now, obviously, it's 92, but I do still think it actually needs boosting. He's got decent passing. He's got very good agility and balance. And to be honest, in general, he actually has very good dribbling. So the first con for Ose Tutu is his work rates. So he has medium medium and for a right back they are by far the worst. But to be honest that's on every position if they have medium medium. And the second con has to be he's now a league one card. So for me personally if he was championship he would be far more desirable just for the squad building variation but now that he's a league one card you have to link him with English players and I just think how could he even mess this up he signed for Rotherham three days before he was even released I mean that is just poor planning from EA and no one is to blame for that but them the final level 15 card is Mohamed Durami. He has medium medium work rates, 4 star skill moves and 3 star weak foot. And if you were to take this card, I would recommend applying the Marksman Chem style. So the pros of this Durami card, I'd have to say his pace. Now it's decent pace, it's not the best pace, but it is decent. He has good passing. Besides free kick accuracy, most of it is actually in the 80s besides long passing, but that's 77. His agility and balance in the 90s, so that's always a positive. Then his jumping's good, and so is his stamina at 90. And the first con, just like every level 15 card this season, is the work rates, which is medium medium. I don't need to explain that anymore. He has 3 star weak foot. He has average shooting. So he only actually has 3 stats that are over 80. Then he has 80 composure which just genuinely isn't good enough for this stage of FIFA. And then he also only has 70 strength. Which for me it's going to be okay but it's definitely not the best. So who do I recommend taking from level 15 for season 4? So I would personally recommend taking Dorami. Now 
I mean, this is an even really hard choice. You take a League One right back, a French Liga Nos Cam, who is genuinely awful, and there was cards better from day one, or you take a somewhat usable left winger from the Eredivisie, which is where they lack. So, I mean, I don't know how they're the same rating as the level 15 cards that we actually caught last season. Don't ask me, I really don't know how. EA have really messed up on this season. They gave us a player that wasn't even playing for the right club. They haven't made them 85 rated. And to be honest, they're all day one cards. And it's just truly shambolic. But I would recommend taking to Rami because he may be the only one that you get any sort of use out of. I would like to thank you all for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, drop a like, comment down below the actual pronunciations because I would like to know how they are pronounced. And if you're new around here, do consider subscribing. But for now, I'll see you in the next one.